Oh yes, I always bring both spray. Yeah, it's the deep free and like the more organic natural one. Okay, so when you're ready, we're gonna find a nice seated position. So we're gonna find our hero pose. And then if you want, if you have a block, you can use your block or just sit on your ankles. If this is really uncomfortable, just find an easy squat, easy, easy seated position. So whatever's for you. And then we're gonna just take a couple deep. Do you want a block? Do you want a block? Thank you. <laughs> I know my knees don't bend that far. And that's okay. This is that's what happens. This is the joys of aging. So it's all good. So let's just take a moment to draw our shoulders up around our ears and then exhale, release and let go. Let the shoulders drop down and back. Beautiful job listening to your body. Maybe do that one or two more times to really bring you and center you here. And when it feels right, just let all parts of you just start to land. Just feel your body land on the earth beneath you. And perhaps you can imagine as whatever is touching the earth beneath you, just imagine that there are roots spreading with every breath that you take. And just let those roots spread far, deep and wide, just anchoring you here. And just letting all parts of you just really land here and be here now. Nothing to do right now, but just be. Be one with your breath as you welcome every part of you. Whether you're inside or outside, just start to take in the sounds around you. And perhaps just sensing and feeling the areas of your skin that are not covered by clothing as the air gently caresses. So tonight's class, we're going through the Yoga Sutras this year, is all about kleshas, our mental, emotional afflictions. So this quote, quote is by Nikolai Bachman. Seeds of unhappiness, sources of fear, cause conflict and strife. Roast them with the flame of awareness and clearly hear the inner essence of life. The emotions or instincts that arise when our buttons are pushed, causing a negative reaction instead of a positive action are called kleshas. They are buried deep inside our being and waiting to surface at the opportune moments. And all kleshas are fear-based. And when our baggage no longer drives our actions, our heart mind is clear that our attention can move towards this permanent freedom. So the scripture I wanted to reference today was Psalm 37, five, six. Commit your way to the Lord or God, trust in him and he will do this. He will make your righteous reward shine like the dawn. your indication like the noonday sun. So just letting any of that that spoke to you just land, letting anything else just move away. And maybe just starting to breathe in your heart's intention as you anchor yourself here. Perhaps you can imagine those roots that have spread far, deep and wide. Imagine those roots are now wrapping around the core of the earth as they travel deeper down. And 
and just let your breath just saturate those roots as it moves through every fiber and cell. So now as we bring our chin down to our chest, let's just seal this into our heart mind as we slowly just rock our chin side to side to make that smiley face on our heart. And the potential mantra tonight can be, I am ever awakening, disrupting what I have known into the unknown. And as we are all ever awakening, let's start to still our head and draw our head back up over our heart and just reach those arms out to the letter T. Let's turn the palms to the sky and gently draw the hands to the shoulders. Let's start to circle those elbows back in space as we invite space into the shoulders. And just notice what you're noticing. And then start to still the elbows and reverse the circle, go the other way. And then when it feels right, just still the arms, slowly reach those arms back out to the T and then inhale high and then gently reach to the right. Just let one hand soften down. And then on that next inhale, rise to the top, exhale at the other hand, soften down. So on that next inhale, come high. And now let's gently revolve, looking one way, let the hands soften down. You can remove the block if you'd like. And then slowly unwind just the rear arm, cross it over on top of the front arm, let the gaze soften down. Now let's, as we're ever awakening, let's just hug ourselves and embrace ourselves. So slowly draw your hands to your shoulders and gently just rock elbow side to side. Let the gaze follow those elbows where they go. And then start to still the elbows, draw your head back to the center, slowly inhale, rise. And let's revolve the other way now. Let the hands soften down. And just look to the side as you breathe slowly and deeply and feel that beautiful lift as you twist. And now just like before, we're gonna release only the rear arm, cross it in front on top of that front arm, slowly soften the gaze down. Just let your breath move through the back of the body and the back, back of the heart. I am ever awakening, disrupting what I have known into the unknown. And now slowly draw the hands up, draw the gaze up, just reach for those shoulder blades. And now let the elbows go one way as the head looks the other. So let the elbows move one way, the head looks to the opposite shoulder. And just embrace and love yourself for where you are in your journey as it's exactly where we're supposed to be. So just continue that twisting motion for another side or two. And then come back to the center when you're ready, slowly inhale up, reach the hands high, and then exhale, paint the canvas down in front of you. Let's press ourselves forward. If you didn't remove the block, remove the block now and just come into that table position, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. And now let's move through that cat cow back. So slowly soften the belly down, lift the heart, lift the gaze, lift the hips, and then exhale, lift the back body. Soften the gaze, soften the hips. So now just flow with your breath, moving the back body up and down like a cat and a cow. Maybe one more time up and down. 
And then let's start to still the, the body, nice, straight, flat back. And now let's lengthen out one leg behind to start with that left leg, just lengthen it back in space. We're gonna just lift up that left heel, drawing the heel up and let's add on with that right arm, reaching that right hand forward. So breathe here as you feel the left palm pushing into the earth. And now we're gonna draw the knee to the elbow as we slowly round the back body. And then inhale, lengthen out, find that extension, find your balancing table, slowly exhale, round the knee to the elbow. Inhale, lengthen out. Let's do that a few times. And maybe one more time. And then find your table, keep the gaze looking down at your mat. And then we're gonna soften that heel, slowly reach that right hand back for the foot. Maybe you're reaching the foot or it's an energetic reach. If you can't quite reach the foot, that's good too. So creating that circle behind you, even energetically, reminding you that you are ever awakening. Feel that gentle lift through the shoulder, through the hip. And now release the foot, just reach the hand forward, reach the heel back. And then soften the hand, soften the knee and pause here. Make any subtle adjustments. And then let's send that right heel back, send the toes into the earth, pause here for just this moment. And then lift the heel. And now add on with the left hand, reaching forward in space, find your balance, find your stability, navel reaching to the spine. Great job with that gaze. So once you feel stable, let's start that movement. Slowly draw the elbow to the knee, round the back body. Inhale, lengthen forward and back. Allow yourself to expand into the ever awakening being that you are. Disrupting what you have known into the unknown. Maybe two more times, taking in beautiful nature around us. And then find your stillness when you're ready, reach the hand forward, reach the heel back. And then we're gonna slowly bend the knee, reach, reaching back for the foot, for the toe, whatever you can hold on to, create that circle, maybe energetically or holding that foot. Aaron's got some help. And just breathing here. And even if it's a little off balance today, that's okay too, just honoring what is today. Feel that gentle lift, feel that expansion into the ever awakening being you are, and then slowly reach the heel back, reach the fingertips forward, soften the hand, soften the knee, and now sink your hips back, give those shoulders a break. Just let the forehead rest on the earth and maybe rock the forehead side to side. If there's thoughts that are still coming up from today, just leave them all at the earth. Let yourself be here now. Now, when it feels right, still the forehead. Take your time and inhale up. Let's come into our kneeling plank. So find that plank with the knees on the earth for this moment. And then we're gonna slowly lower down, maybe hover the chest right above the earth, bending the elbows back in space. Feel the strength, feel the power here. And then let your body soften down to the earth when it feels right and draw the elbows underneath the shoulders. Walk the fingertips forward. And now just walk the toes back to the back edge of your mat. And then let's look over each shoulder at a time. One looking over the right shoulder as you exhale and then the left. Let that inhale bring you forward. Maybe one more time. Can you find a little more softness and ease through those glutes?
So whenever you're finished, just make your way back to the center. And we're gonna come up into our plank pose. So if, that, if you can, elbows under the shoulders, let's flex the feet, draw the knees up, lift the hips up into your forearm plank. You can do a full plank if you choose. No, it's fine. <laughs> And then we're gonna pivot that right arm so it's parallel with the short edge of our mat. Let's pivot both feet. And if you'd like, you can step that left foot behind you as you reach that left arm high. So you can keep your feet stacked or just step that foot behind you. So now lower that left foot down, slowly pivot your body back to your standard plank, forearm plank, pause, breathe. You can come down if you need to, to your Cobra. And then pivot that left forearm, slowly pivot both feet into your side plank and maybe step the right foot back behind you as you reach the right arm high. Breathe here. Feel the strength, feel the power. And now slowly exhale, pivot the body back parallel to the earth, pause, breathe. We're gonna do that one more time. Feel free to touch the knees down in between. So when you're ready, slowly pivot the right forearm parallel with the front edge of the mat. Maybe step that left foot back or stack the feet. You get to choose. Feel those obliques working here. Slowly take your time, pivot your body back to your standard plank. Breathe. Take a break if you need it. And then when you're ready, bring the left forearm parallel, pivot both feet, maybe step the right leg back or stack the feet. You choose. Feel those obliques working. Feel the hips lifting. Don't worry, we're gonna take our break after this. Slowly pivot, come back to your standard plank, soften the knees, soften the hips, relax the feet back in space. Oh, now you get to breathe. You did it. And now just do a little cat cow through the cervical spine. So slowly look down to the navel. And then when you're ready, slowly look forward. Just a few times, just like that. Maybe one more time. And then when you're ready, we're gonna draw our hands under the shoulders, elbows back in space, glue the elbows in, press yourselves up and back, just sink back to child's pose. Just thank your body for doing all that core work. And maybe it feels right, just draw your hands by your feet for this moment, let your shoulders just rest down as the whole back body unfurls. And just let yourself be held here. Let yourself be embraced by the support of the earth beneath you, the sky above you, the sounds all around you. As you remember, I am an ever awakening being. So when it feels right, just start to reach your hands, circle the arms back forward, spread the fingers wide, point the index fingers forward and slowly lift the hips. Oops. And then slowly come up into down dog. When you're ready, march, pedal out those legs. Just find the length through the back body, through the hamstrings here. And we're just gonna do a little flow from our downward dog into standard plank. So you can stay in down dog, go to puppy dog if you need to. So we're gonna slowly create like a roll, like a wave, rolling our body forward into plank. And then gently continue that wave, rolling it back into down dog. 
to let your breath be your guide, rolling forward and back to plank and back into downward dog. Maybe one more time. And then we'll all meet back in downward dog. And then we'll start to soften both knees. You can step, hop, jump forward, however you wish to get to the front of your mat and just find your gentle forward fold. Let the head soften towards the earth. Let the belly rest on the thighs. So now when you find your stability, just start to let the feet anchor in and we're gonna draw our fingertips up to our shins. So let's take our inhale, active back extension, L-shaped body. Now soften at the knees, reach the hands out to the T or to the hips and then inhale, rise. Hands come up and overhead. Let's pause here and just feel our feet anchor in. So maybe root, walk your feet forward and back a little. Just rock forward and back. Maybe rock a little side to side, feel the four corners anchor in. And then let's find our powerful mountain stance. Let our hands pal come down as our palms face forward. Breathe here as you feel the core of the earth as those roots from your feet wrap around it. So now let's take our inhale, rise. Let the right hand soften down the thigh. And then inhale, come to the top, exhale to the other side. When you're ready, inhale, come up. Let's bring our hands down to the heart. And we're gonna take that left foot. So let's lift the heel and step back to warrior one. So we're starting on a different side than we normally do, just to challenge you guys today. So now let's send our arms forward. And we're gonna bring that right arm underneath, left arm on top, slowly bending at the elbows, drawing the palms together, or you can reach for your shoulders, whatever feels back better, or back of the palms together, whatever you can do, coming into the eagle arms. So now here we stand in our warrior stance as ever awakening beings that we are. Feel the hips shining forward with the rear foot turned out to about 10 o'clock. So now you can stay right as you are or gently hinge forward, bowing forward. And then inhale, rise. Taking your time, no need to rush. Maybe you follow that rhythm, slowly bowing. And then inhaling, engaging the core. So as you bow, feel the back of the heart opening to receive. Maybe two more times. I'm just finishing up. And then once we get back up, take your time. Just slowly lift the elbows gently. Just a little lift with the elbows. And then slowly soften the elbows, unwind the arms. And then we're gonna inhale, step back forward. Let's take that inhale. Exhale, right hand softens down. Inhale, rise, left hand softens down. And then coming back to the center, hands come down to the heart. And now let's lift up that right heel when you're ready and step it back to warrior one. So rear toes turn out to about two o'clock now. So now send those fingertips forward and let's bring now that left arm underneath, right arm on top, bending at the elbows, drawing the palms together if you can, or back of the palms, whatever you can hold. So breathe here as you feel the rear heel root in. And maybe you wish to stay here, or maybe you wish to fold and bow forward as the ever awakening being you are, disrupting what you have known into the unknown. Letting that exhale bring you down and that inhale bring you up. We've got maybe two more here finishing up. 
and it's extra challenging when we're not on an even surface. So just being graceful and mindful with yourself. Whenever you're finished, just coming on up. And then if you'd like, just reach the fingertips a little bit higher as you lift the elbows a little bit higher, almost parallel with the shoulders. And then soften the elbows, open the arms, inhale, step the feet back together, hands come down to the heart. So now let's take our inhale, open up the arms, and we're gonna step back. So bring the hands back to the heart. Let's go back to that left foot, step back to warrior one, one more time. This time let's draw our hands behind us. So now unlock the hands, interlock those fingers, charge the knuckles down. Breathe in the power and the strength of the warriors you all are. I am an ever awakening being, disrupting all I have known into, to move into the unknown. So maybe you wish to stay right here. Maybe you wish to humble yourself now with a nice open heart, slowly hinge at the hips, lead with the heart, fold forward, letting those arms reach overhead to wherever they wish to go. Just letting your heart be received by that thigh. And now while staying bound, slowly lower the hands down, inhale, rise, keeping your hands bound if you can. And then we're gonna step together and find our chair pose. So once you step your feet together, sink back, staying bound if you can. Breathing here, that strength, looking slow, uh, forward and slightly down. Now release the hands, reach them forward. And then start to circle those arms a few times back in space, circling, staying seated in our chair if you can. And on the next time the arms come forward, let them rise you up, lifting your body up. Now let the hands melt down to the heart. Now let's lift up that right heel, step back to that warrior one on the other side. Square the hips forward and then slowly release the hands, interlock the hands behind you in the weird interlock so it feels awkward. Use the strap, use what you got. And then charge those knuckles down, maybe look high. Looking to that expansive sky and trees above you, or maybe it's the ceiling, whatever you have. Continue to feel the roots beneath you spread. And now with this open heart mind, you can stay right here, or maybe you wish to humble yourself to receive even more wisdom. Soften the hands, hinge at the hips, lower the chest down to the thigh. Then when it feels right, maybe reach the arms overhead. And now taking your time, soften the hands down. If you can, keep them interlocked, inhale up, and then we'll step the feet together, sinking back to our bound chair pose. Once again, sink the hips back, keep the knees behind the toes, send the weight through the heels, keep the gaze down and forward. And then when you're ready, unlock the arms, slowly circle the arms back in space, challenging our balance just with the movement of the arms. Keep the knees stacked over the ankles. And then the next time the arms come forward, let them reach you high. Slowly soften the right hand down. Inhale, rise. Now soften the other hand down. And now inhale, rise. Swan dive, forward fold. Slowly hinge at the hips, bend at the knees. Lower the hands to the earth. Now let's step the left foot back. And now here we are in our lunge position. Let's lower that left hand under the shoulder as we inhale that right arm high as we revolve. Maybe that right hand stays high or gently tucks down and back to the low back.
And now just release that right hand back to the earth. We're gonna pivot that rear foot. So slowly pivot that rear foot so it's parallel with your short edge of your mat. Bring both hands into the inside edge of the right foot. And then exhale, sink the hips back. Just let that head melt down. Feel the outer edge of the rear foot plant in. And then as you inhale, soften, bend the front knee. You can use that tricep there to press into that right knee to keep it stacked over that ankle. And now let's slowly just peel that left hand high into our side angle. So if you wish to come up a little higher, just bring the forearm to the thigh or keep your fingertips there on the earth. Feel that expansion from the earth to the sky. Now, while engaging the core, inhale, rise, coming on up into warrior two. Take your time, really feel that rear foot root in. Breathe here as the warriors you are. Let's take that moment to turn the palms up to soften the shoulders down. Let's take the moment to bend the elbows, bring the fingertips to the shoulders and just trace our shoulders down to our hips to make sure we're into alignment and then we'll reach those arms high. And now let's inhale into our reverse triangle, lengthen out the front leg, reach high as you look high. Maybe you keep looking up to the sky or maybe you wish to look down and back. Maybe look towards that rear pinky toe. And now slowly exhale, bring your arms back to the letter T, slowly bend the front knee, pressing the inner edge of the knee towards the pinky toe side. Beautiful. Breathe here, be the warriors you are, fierce and powerful. And now we're gonna pivot that rear foot. So take your time pivoting that rear foot, coming into our high lunge. I know we'll challenge that balance a little bit. And then we're gonna slowly revolve here. So pressing into the palm, slowly revolve towards that bent knee. You can stay high or maybe you slowly draw that elbow to the outer thigh if that feels right. Really sending the energy out that rear heel. And just let yourself breathe and be here now. And then we're gonna slowly release the revolve, slowly lift the elbow if it's down, come back to the center, and then soften the hands down. Take your time. And now we're gonna find our pyramid pose. So slowly exhale, lengthen out the front leg. Let the head fold down. Gently draw the left hip forward as the right hip draws back. So when you're ready, slowly soften, bend the front knee. We're gonna step the rear foot forward. So bend the knee and step the foot forward and just hang here in your forward fold. Take a breath. Let all parts of you just hang heavy as you find your balance. It's all right. That's okay. Maybe just rock your hips as if you're wagging your tail, just like your dog that's happy to see you. Just be happy with yourself for showing up today. And then when you're ready, find the stillness. As you inhale, plug the fingertips into the shins, L-shaped body. Begin to find softness through the knees, reach your arms to the T and then inhale, rise. Coming high, upward hand salute, just a gentle lean back, draw the pinkies towards one another as you look high. And then exhale, soften the hands down to meet the heart. And then we're gonna find our swan dive forward fold. Slowly inhale, hinge at the hips, soften the knees, lower the hands down. So now we're gonna take that right foot, stepping it back. Once you find your lunge position, start to anchor that right hand underneath the shoulder and then inhale up with the left hand. Expand into the ever awakening being that you are. 
Maybe the hand stays high or gently folds down and back. Just breathe here as you feel the belly twisting into the thigh. Bringing out those inner organs. And now slowly unwind, reach that hand back high and then fold that left hand down and walk both hands to the inside edge of that left foot. And now pivot that right foot, the rear foot's pivoted. All right, so now that we're here, let's slowly lengthen out the front leg, head folds down. Bring your hands where they need to go. Just feel the hamstring lengthen out as you breathe here. Now slowly, mindfully bend the front knee and just kind of check the posture so you can use that tricep of that left forearm or left tricep into the knee. So when you're ready, we're gonna slowly inhale, coming on up. Oh, nope, stay there, just kidding. That was a test. So keep that hand there, that left hand there and reach that right hand high. I forgot, and then I remembered. So maybe you stay there or bring that, that forearm to the thigh, that left forearm, you get to choose. So however you wish to get there, we're gonna slowly come on up into our warrior two. So take your time, inhale, engage the core, draw your body up. You guys all passed. <laughs> so breathe here and let's turn the shoulders up. And then maybe soften the shoulders down as you turn the palms down. Breathe here in the, as the warriors you are. And with the strength and power, let's move to our reverse triangle. Soften the rear hand down, extend the front leg, reach high, look high, or maybe look down and back. So now slowly exhale, coming back to warrior two, soft and bend the front knee and just check the knee, making sure it's stacked over the ankle, press the inner edge towards the pinky toe side, the inner edge of that knee. And breathe as you be here now. And then just like before, we're gonna pivot that rear foot. So take your time, pivot that rear foot, draw the hands to the heart. Pause here, check your hip position. Knees are aligned with the hips or feet are aligned with the hips, I, I meant to say. So breathe here. If you need a little more stability, you can always heel toe one foot out a little bit wider. No judgment. So now, as we have the wind working with us, let's slowly revolve towards that bent knee. Maybe stay high or gently soften down. Let the outer elbow come to the outer thigh. Breathe here as you send the energy out the rear heel. Nice active thigh. And when you're ready, slowly lift the elbow, come back forward, pause. And then we're gonna soften the hands down, let the hands fold down. And then once you get there, start to move to pyramid, slowly lengthen out the front leg, head folds down. Now draw the right hip forward, left hip back. So when you're ready, slowly soften, bend the front knee. We're gonna step back forward. Take your time stepping back forward. Find your forward fold. And then when it's right for you, lower the hands down. We're gonna step the left or right foot back to down dog. So take your time. So now begin to draw that left heel to the sky, three-legged dog. 
Maybe circle the ankle a few times, circle it the other way. And then we're gonna open that hip. So slowly soften that knee, open the hip. Find that attitude position. So you can stay right here or move into rock star. So slowly let that foot come down to the earth behind you and as you reach that left hand high. That's optional, you don't have to go there. And then slowly lower the left hand down, reach the heel high again. And then we're gonna move to uh, our ooh, pigeon pose. I forgot what it's called. Draw the knee behind the wrist, slowly move that shin where it wants to go and then walk that right knee back. That way you're resting above the knee joint. So however you wish to get there is great. And maybe you're doing this on your back today in that figure four and that's okay too. Sometimes we need to just heel toe. Yep, use the block. So maybe you stay high in your pigeon or maybe you come on down. You get to choose into more of that restorative pigeon. Getting water is also great. So use whatever support you need. If you've got that block there underneath that left hip, that's perfect. Just trying to find the balance of the hips. So now just let all parts of your body be held by the earth beneath you as you breathe into those tight, sticky spaces. And wherever you can sense that ease in your body, just let that sense of ease travel into those tight, sticky spaces. As you breathe in, I am ever awakening, disrupting what I have known to move into the unknown. We'll just be here for another few breaths. If you need to come out, just trust your body and listen. And last breath here at the bottom. And whenever it feels right, just slowly come back to your hands, taking your time. We're gonna rock off to that left hip, drawing that right foot out. And then either just stack the ankle above the knee or stack the knees, whatever you can do. So whatever feels right is great. So that's, we're gonna pause there and then we're gonna fold forward. So wherever you are, just fold gently forward. Even if it's just a little bit, let yourself find that forward fold and breathe into both hips. And then when you're ready, slowly inhale, let the head stack last. And then slowly let that right foot find the earth outside of the thigh. So maybe one leg, that, that left leg's extended and the right leg's over on top, whatever you can do. And then let's reach that left arm out, wrap it around that knee and then inhale that right arm up, create the kickstand behind you as you drop it down. Keeping that nice tall spine.
Feel that beautiful lift as you twist. And now just release the gaze, look over the front shoulder, breathing as you look forward. And then slowly exhale and wind the rest of the body. And let's uncross the legs and just rock back. Coming onto our hands and knees, and then we're gonna step back to down dog. So take your time, step both feet back one at a time. And then we're gonna move into three-legged dog, lifting the right heel high. Start to circle that ankle. Go both directions. And now start to bend the knee when you're ready. Attitude position. Feel that hip opening. So you can stay right here. Maybe that right foot comes down behind you onto the earth as you lift the right arm into rock star. Even if you don't go here, you're still a rock star. Oh, my God. <laughs> Those a little bit. And then slowly let the right hand come down, lift the right heel high, find three like a dog. Now turn the toes to the earth, slowly bend the knee, draw the knee behind that right wrist. And then move that shin where it wants to go. Maybe grab your block as you walk that left leg back, walk the knee back. Got a nice funny bug on my computer. So breathe here as you find that support. And then when you're ready, maybe you come down or you stay high, you choose. This side might feel a little different. So just breathe and be here now. Let all parts of you surrender and soften down. We're creating that clear heart mind so that we can release our baggage. Continuing to trust that we are ever awakening beings, disrupting what we have known, moving into the unknown. And just let that breath move into those tight, sticky spaces. And if there's any part of your body that is sensing a feeling of ease, invite that ease to spread to those tight, sticky spaces. Just let yourself be held here now. Nothing to do, just be. Just being here for another few breaths. Continuing to send that breath to those tight, sticky spaces. Now 
on your next inhale, just take your time slowly coming on up, taking your time, and then we're gonna rock off to the right, just gently drawing that left leg out in front so that left leg can stay long or it can cross. So maybe it's the ankle over the knee or the knees can be stacked, whatever you can find. And then we're gonna gently just fold forward to whatever degree we can fold. Just sending that breath to wherever you feel the tightness. Take another breath here and on your inhale, begin to find your way back to the top, let the head stack last. So you can keep that left foot, let's bring the left foot to the earth, maybe that right leg is long. And now let's take that right arm off to the side and then slowly wrap it around that knee and then inhale the left arm high, drop that left arm behind you like a kickstand. And just breathe as you lift, as you twist. And just let the breath fill you and massage those inner organs. And now just allow the gaze, only the gaze to unwind. Look over that front shoulder, breathe. And then let the rest of the body follow, unwind. And then uncross those legs. And we're gonna find our nice, Laying down position, so slowly roll down. Maybe you wish to find a little boat, a little last bit of work, maybe, or just find your way all the way down. And once you're down, just lengthen out the arms, lengthen out the legs, just really extend all parts of you. And then whatever feels right, maybe start to bend, soften the knees, draw the knees into the chest, maybe rock, maybe roll those knees, maybe come into your happy baby, get that last back body release. So all parts of you can just be held by the earth beneath you. So when you're ready, just slowly release what you're holding on to. If it feels good, just draw your body into a nice tight ball. Draw every part of you in as if you were a seed that is gonna be blossoming into the creation that you were made to be. As you exhale, let yourself expand into all of you and just let yourself rest now and be held. Nothing left to do. Just be. And if it feels good for you, just start to breathe as if you're breathing through the soles of the feet, breathing in that sense of ease and peace through the soles of your feet and allowing that ease to start to move up the legs, over the knees, and through those thighs that work so hard. As you start to sense the support that's beneath your heels and beneath your legs. And perhaps you can bring that sense of ease up through the rest of your body. Feeling that ease as you breathe through the soles of your feet, travel again through the legs and now through the hips. Feeling the hips softening down. And now feeling the breath as it travels up through the torso, the low belly and the back begin to relax. Feeling the ribs expand all directions as the ribs relax. Now traveling up through the upper chest and the upper back, 
as that peace and ease moves through those spaces so they can let go. Feeling the shoulder blades land heavy as the arms soften down as the ease continues to spread. Continuing to breathe through the soles of the feet, letting that ease travel up the neck, through the throat, feeling the back of the head being supported. So now the front of the head can relax down into the back of the head. Now all parts of you are just covered with the sense of ease and peace so you can rest. I am an ever awakening being, disrupting what I have known to move into the unknown. As you rest. Now with the beautiful breath that you've been given, to start to breathe in a full deep breath, feeling the belly expand on the inhale, the sealing in our class in this meditation, just feeling the belly soften on that exhale. Take another two or three breaths just like that, nice, deep and full. And then just gently when you're ready, start to move the fingers and toes, maybe even wiggle the nose, bring yourself back. Maybe you take a moment to draw the knees back to your chest, whatever you need to kind of bring you back. And then whatever side is calling you, maybe you just take that moment to lengthen out that arm and just roll over to that side and let the side body be held for a moment. Just let the side body be held by the earth. And then whenever you're ready, just slowly use that top hand to gently press yourself up to seated into a nice, easy seated position. 
taking your time. And then just move the fluff out from underneath your bottom. And then we'll just glue the hands outside of our hips and pause, maybe soften the eyes. As you gently turn the palms to the sky, breathing in, I am an ever awakening being. And let that melt down into the heart as you move past the mind, through the words and down into the heart, planting the thumbs into the heart. And now connect the mind in the, with the heart. As you bow down, receiving that and filling yourself with that mantra, I am an ever awakening being. And from my heart to your heart, I'm wishing you guys a blessed, beautiful night. So let's slowly lift our head, open our eyes, and namaste. Thank you all. The sun is still out. <laughs> Hi, Thank you, Jen. you are so welcome. Did you guys want to say goodbye to anybody here?